everybody welcome back everyone this is the happy toolbox and today i'll be going over a quick rendering tip inside of octane this is a problem i ran into where i really needed to render out some glass objects and have the background behind them be live since they were going on a website um, so i needed to not only have alpha outside the object but i needed to make sure the alpha was seeing through the object as well. So if any of you have ran into this problem, this is how you go about fixing that. There's just a couple switches and levers you have to switch, but it's pretty straightforward. So let's jump in. So you can see I have our soda bottle model here already set up. This is from our convenience model pack that you can get on the happytoolbox.com. I have a nice glass texture here. I have some lighting, I have a camera, and I have a floor. So super straightforward setup. Um, and I'm assuming most of you know how to get alpha around this object, but just in case you don't, the way I'd go about doing that is on the floor, I'd probably put a C40 octane tag, object tag, go over to the visibility tab, uncheck camera visibility, and that's just saying, hey camera, don't show this object, but still have it reflect and interact with the scene. But right now this is just a black solid, and the way you'd want to output this in your render is if you go to your octane settings, Next to keep environment, there's a thing called alpha channel. So if I check that on, I immediately get this nice checkerboard transparency pattern that allows you to see in your live render preview. And then obviously on your render settings, on your output, I would have octane render and then in save, just make sure alpha channel is checked on. So we all pretty much know how to do that. But what I want is I wanna see through this object. I don't want white. If I want a nice light blue background, from my website and I place this object on it, I want that light blue background to show through. There's just a few things you have to do to get this set up. So I'm going to check back on camera visibility. So we have our whole setup, but I'm going to keep this object tag here and instead go over to object layer, make sure our layer ID for our floor is set to one or whatever number uh, you'd like to allocate to this object. Then I'm going to create another object tag on our glass soda bottle model and change that layer ID to layer ID two. Then if I go over to my render settings and go down to Octane Renderer, Render Passes, and enable that, there's something down here called Render Layer. And if I enable this, you'll see we get this inverted bottle immediately. And as you can see in the layer ID section, we have one selected, which was our floor. So if I pump this up to two, we basically get that same camera visibility alpha setup I showed you previously, but with a different method. And what's important about this is it is actively hiding that object via your renderer instead of just through the lens of your camera. Now, from this point, I need to affect the actual material of this glass. So if I go over to our glass material, I double click on it. If you go down to the common section, there is a zone that says affect alpha. So if I check that on, immediately the center of this goes away and sees through to the background. And since we have that layer ID set to only be this number two, Octane is saying, okay, I see you want alpha and I also see you only want to render layer two. So we're going to ignore the background behind all of this. It might look like you're losing a little bit of data here, but if you bring this into a compositing system, um, you're really not losing a ton and you can always pull an extra reflection pass uh, if you wanna bump these up a lot. So again, really straightforward, really quick tip. I just wanted to share this because this is something I struggled with a lot and I think it is super useful. So if you guys would like this video and subscribe to the channel, that would help us out a ton. We're gonna keep putting out more and more tutorials. We took a very brief hiatus, but we're back and we're gonna keep pumping them out. And as always, if you're interested in any stylized 3D models, head on over to thehappytoolbox.com. We have over 500 and counting of them. We have some amazing packs and also a really great freebie section as well. All right, I'll see you guys next time.